Hello guys, welcome back. Let's go through BART's latest update in this video, right? July 13, there were some updates made in BART, right? So if you scroll down, I will provide the link in the description so you can just follow along with me. Here you can see that starting today, you can collaborate with BART in over 40 languages. If you just click this link, it will take you to the place where you can see all the places or all the languages which BART supports. And if you scroll down, there are also the countries and territories where BART can be used now. That is one update that they have made. Now you can get more customized responses out of Google's BART. And if you scroll down, you can boost your productivity, meaning that you can pin and rename the conversations. And if you scroll down, there is export code to more places and share responses with friends, use images in your prompts. These are the updates made by Google. In this video, I will first explain you or show you the UI of Google's BART briefly. I have already created two different videos earlier related to Google BART. You can reference to those. And then we will go through each of these updates. Let's get started. I am now on the home page of Google BART, right? As you can see here, this is the interface and the interface is also a little bit updated compared to the previous one. On the left side, if you see there is this BART and experimental, right? And there is this reset chart and this is not highlighted at the moment because I have made the BART activity off. If you have this BART activity off, then you cannot create new charts or meaning that they are not saved here. And if you click this, it will just become big and then smaller, right? And on the top right corner, on the settings icon, you can use the light theme as well as you can use the dark theme. And there is this your public links, whatever public links that is being created. There is this question mark icon where you can also see all the updates made by Google. And there is this help section, frequently asked questions and the privacy of you can just go through these links. But if you want to have the updates made by them, you can just click the updates and it will provide you all the updates. The thing that I just went is from 2023, July 13. But if you scroll down, there are other updates made earlier months. You can just follow along all the updates that are being made by them. That is the quick thing that you can just go through the UI. And there is this bar activity, which I just mentioned you before. If you click this bar activity, it will take you here. And the bar activity is off here. As I said you before, choose whether bar stores your activity to your Google account such as the prompts you submit, the responses you receive and the feedback you provide. If you just go here and made this on. So before making this on, make sure that you read these things here because there are different things that you need to take care about. You can just go through this. For now, I am actually going to make it on, right? Now I'll go back to this main page. And if I refresh this page now, as you notice, the thing here appeared now new chart, meaning that I can have different charts similar to what chart GPT provides, where I can save different charts, pin all the charts. So we will go through those things, right? Just for a simple example, I will just click one of the link here. It says, give me a table to track the depth chart for a community basketball team, right? If I click this particular link, it is going to provide the response and one thing you know, how they have made it is in chat GPT the response will be shown directly to you and it seems that it is fast right but many people are complaining that the response from Google Bard is slow but actually it is fast because it is doing something behind the scene and only the answer is being provided that is what I have experienced it can differ based on what you are asking and different things, right? And as I said in my previous videos also, one good thing of BARD is it doesn't just provide one answer here, right? There are all the answers being provided and you can see there are drafts also being view other drafts and there are other answers also being provided for the same question. And there is this thing called regenerate the draft. If you click this, it will regenerate the draft. And one update that they made now is, for example, let's say here is the draft and I want it to read for me. You can just click this listen icon. If I click this, it sure. is 
Yeah. Here is a table to track the depth chart for a community basketball. As you can see here, it just reads the thing that it is being shown on the screen. That is one update and this is I think a kind of good update because sometimes you can just listen something and do something else right. It can also save some of your time and someone just want to listen the things right instead of reading. It's, it depends upon you what kind of things you want to do. That is one update and the next update is if you see on this left side it created this quite small summary. You can click these three dots. There is the thing to rename it, there is the thing to pin it and to delete it. You can proceed whatever you want. Let's say that I want to give the descriptive name for this. I, because it just provides some random name. I can just say here basketball, right? This is what I asked the question. Now there is the basketball, right? I can pin this also because there are, if you keep on asking many questions then it is good to pin the charts so that you can come back and then continue from there it's less distraction uh, for you I don't know how you work but it might help you right for that what you can do just go to three dots pin this and it will ask you to rename the title right and you can just pin this and now you can see it changed to pinned that is one thing there are already two updates that we already went through and you can of course edit the text and ask the question i'm not going to go through that right now uh, if you scroll a little bit down there is many updates now here one is export to sheets this is already introduced a little bit earlier but you can quickly export these to the google sheets that is convenient right and the next thing you can do is if you see their modify responses that is the boost your productivity right if you click this modify responses here there is you can make the answer shorter or you can even make it longer simpler and more casual and more professional you can just click one of these let me go and click this more professional let's see what it produced right if i click this more professional it is going to go through the same question again and now it is analyzing and it provides the answer for me. It says sure here is more professional version of the table. Community basketball team depth chart. It just provided the chart and it provides the notes for me here. Right, you can export it to the sheets as before. And I have made the following changes to make the table more professional. So you can just play around with this, which one you like, right? You can again go here and make it, maybe you can make it shorter longer simpler something like that and next thing is if you click this share icon here share and export right here is the share icon also so you can share this chat with someone else before there was this draft in email and export to docs but now there is the option to share also here you can see that you can generate more or you can just create the public link let me create the public link Okay, this is the link, right? I can just copy this or you can even share it in different places as it is already mentioned here. Let me open one new tab in incognito window and let me just paste the link here, right? As you can see here, it opens this particular link and you don't need to be logged in in order to view the shared link. That is what I just wanted to show you that. But if you want to try the bar, then of course you need to sign in. So you cannot use it without the sign in, but you can read the uh, chat shared by others. That's the normal scenario. So yeah, that, these are the things that you can do. And of course there is the thing called Google it where you can just click this and search related topics and you can just click one of those and it will go in Google and source the things. If I just click this one, as you can see, it went to Google search and did some search for me. That is also convenient. Now, if I just go and click the new chat here. Yeah, there is the new chat. There is already a pinned chat, right? What I can do now, and it's already shown here in the UI itself or pick up where you left off, right? Now, let's go and see the, the one of the update was you can uh, upload images and have information out of it right here is the plus icon if you click this there is upload file you can upload jpeg png and wp image format let me click this and let me upload this random image right i will open this so now it is being uploaded 
And now I can ask the questions here. I can say, can you explain this image? This is the run, random question, right? Let me see if it can provide some information for me out of this particular image. It says, sorry, I can't help with the images of people at. So this is what I have noticed with many things. And as you can see here, this image has been removed. It removes the image and it cannot right now explain there is the image of people, right? But what we can try is upload the image without the people's faces or people's in the image, right? This is the robot. Let me open this. And what I can ask here is explain this image, right? There are not people in this particular image. Let me see if it works or not. It's loading, right? So yeah, it says here the image shows a small orange robot with blue eyes and blue feet. As you can see here, blue eyes and blue feet. Okay, so this is what it explains. One thing to notice is it, it can provide you information related to the images, but right now it seems that it cannot provide information about the images of the people. Now what I'm going to do is ask it to write some code for me because there is some functionality that is being introduced when you ask the questions related to code, right? What I can say here is enter a prompt here, right? I can say it create a flask app to upload images, right? This is just a random question I ask. I'm not going to say if the code works or not, but just to show you there is some functionality that is being introduced. Now it says show, here is the code for a Flask app to upload the images, right? It provides the code for you and it explains, okay, the code will return, will create a simple Flask app with two routes, right? And you can just go along this. And there is also the HTML file where it shows the code. And it also shows you the resources from where it is taken. This is what I was trying to say you that it is providing the information from different GitHub resources. And interesting enough is that even in the code that is being generated, it is taking from different sources. As you can see here, it is importing this particular code from the source one, right? And you, it provides the source directly here. You can click this and it will take you to the source code here in the GitHub. And similarly, there is second source being provided and it highlighted which part of it is selected. And there is this third part also being selected and so on, right? This is one thing which, which is helpful because you can just go through those particular links if you face some issue, right? And one good part here still is if you now go to this share and export, now there is one more thing appearing here, right? Before there were, by the way, there is two different things appearing here. There were before draft in e Gmail and export to docs and share for the normal chats, right? If I go to this basketball thing, and if I go here, there is these three things, share, export to docs and draft in Gmail, right? Many of you actually find it confusing and asked me that, okay, I don't see these different kind of things, but these are specific to the charts you ask, right? This is the normal thing that we ask. These three things are being popped up there. But if we go and ask the code related questions, then there will be different things appearing. It is personalized based on those questions you ask. Here there is the share and export. You can export to the Google Collab. It was there before also, right? Now there is the option also to export to the Replit. I hope you know what is Replit. If not also, it's fine. I can just click this export to Replit. And it says here, exports are subject to Replit's privacy policy and terms. Exports to free Replit accounts will be publicly visible, right? And I can say no thanks, or I can say I understood open Replit. I can just say I understood open Replit and it is going to open the Replit and it says BARD import. Looks like you are importing from BARD into your free Replit account. This means the code will be posted public. The same thing that we see before, right? I can say remember my choice for the next time or I can just say upgrade or I can say continue without upgrading. Let's go with continue without upgrading. 
so it is now populating the files in the replit by the way i was already logged in into the replit so it is directly showing me in the replit but for you you need to have an account in replit in order for this to be published right so yeah this is how it is showing here it shows all the different things and yeah this is replit where you can write code right this is the code that is being provided here for us right and by the way, if you just want to run this there is the console here and there is this sale all the different things so you can just go here and run but you need to of course install flask and all the different things here otherwise it will run the code you can just try it and if you face some issue just go back to bard and ask the questions okay i face some issue okay, please can you help me and something like that right this is really helpful because before it was just connecting to uh, Google Colab, which is a notebook, right? But now it is connecting to the replit, meaning that you can have different Python files and interact between uh, those Python files. Okay, that's all for this video. I just wanted to show you because this is free, right? And it is providing the tools or the things or the features that are not provided by other different uh, chat service providers. Like in chat GPT, you need to have the plus version in order to upload the files, but here, it is free and you can have different information although this is in the experimental phase i think in the future when they have all the things ready they will make it a pro version like chat gpt but for now it's free you can just play around with it and now it supports different languages and also different places before in europe also it was not supported but now it is supported so yeah you can just play around with different providers and just use the one that best fits your use cases. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.